Uh oh. Hello, 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 look at me. I've been fresh. I've been walking with my savior. Yes, I'm trying to do my best. Yes, I'm just a bag of bones trying to shake up by the flesh. When you see me, never stress. When you see me, see me, see me, you say, hello, 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 look at me. I've been fresh. I've been walking. For 10 years, you've proven to be the greatest asset I can ever invest in. You move policy and father with grace and conviction. With an higher. All right, time for a little transparency. I've been working hard and it shows. Videos are coming out consistently and I feel like we're finally at the production level that I've always hoped for. The kids seem to be doing great. Yvette is killing it at homeschool and we've hired a couple people to help us out around the house. I don't feel guilty that I have to work, right? Like I gotta keep this thing afloat. And kids will be kids. They have support, they have a roof over their head, they're eating, and I actually, try to make time and be present whenever I can. When I'm around, I notice things. Like Anaya doesn't eat. We have to kind of bribe her with bacon or something else to get her to eat her food. Wow, mom. She's also allergic to a lot, which requires us to be more creative. But honestly, we're kind of over it. I never introduced myself. My name is Belief, and this is Belief in Fatherhood, specifically the good father season. And I'm trying to discover what it means to be a good father by deep diving in the relationships around me. Whoa! Call it the jump over. <laughs> wow. Nice, man. I'm about to discover why Anaya is having such a hard time thriving in this family. Having a daughter is like having a son in the palm of your hands. I don't know how bright you can shine. I don't know how long this will take. I just know I'm taking my time. I ask God to give me a son. If I ever am out of alignment, then he gave me this beautiful girl. Three years later, don't know where the time went. Every kid come with an assignment Feel like you've been teaching me mostly to keep it simple The family is foundation I know that having a daughter is just part of the fundamental You take a man, ball him up and make him gentle You an inspiration, no doubt that you're influential But you're more than that I feel like for some reason you've been holding back I feel like for some reason you've been holding back I feel like for some reason you've been holding back I feel like for some reason you've been holding back you ain't got a hold back. You ain't got a hold back. There's no doubt in my mind that Anaya loves being a big sister, right? But she might love it too much. Watch what happens when Uzi mistreats Anaya. Watch what Theo does. Now watch again as she justifies Uzi's behavior. Listen. I can't wait to discover what it is about Theo that allows him to be such a protector and a big brother in this moment. But we'll table that for another episode. Now I know Uzi is only a baby and he doesn't know any better, but I am triggered. I am triggered that Anaya would justify this. And this isn't the first time she's done it. 
Uzi, stop. Uzi, stop it. All right. Nice. Stop letting him do that to you. You understand? Dad, he loves me. So what? He doesn't. He, he's hurting you. I know, but he can. He can. He can hold my. He can hold my ants. No, he can't hurt you anything. Okay. He can. He can't. I know that Anaya knows how to protect herself. We'll see that in her interactions with Uriah later. But here I go, Mr. Analytical, trying to find the flaw in me that birthed that behavior in her. And I don't know who needs to hear this besides Anaya, but young lady, I don't care how much he loves you. Never allow yourself to be treated that way. Kid Ryan Smart. I never knew that love required faith. But I'm learning that now. I never knew that love required faith, but that's just one of the lessons I've learned by being a husband to be better. Around midday, we do a thing called quiet time. Uzi usually takes a nap and the kids just have to be quiet, but it doesn't always work out that way. Usually how it goes is Anaya wants to play a domesticated game and Uriah plays too rough. Theo plays on his bed alone because he doesn't want to have to clean up the mess that Uriah and Anaya make. What are you playing? Oh, uh, rescue riders. Rescue riders? Mm -hmm. What are rescue riders? Oh, well, two humans ride. Well, there's two dragons, but there's much more dragons. There's Naya. Five Naya. dragons. Naya. Five dragons. I'm going to tell them. Naya. It's not only about me though, it's also about mom. Unknowingly, I could have displayed behavior that was unpleasant toward my wife. Maybe Anaya's adopting that. I'll definitely have to talk to my wife about this on the next podcast. But once again, without fail, Theo comes to Anaya's rescue. Have you seen before? Yes. When? Um, do you want to see Spider-Man? Yes, show me. There's one relationship that needs more context, and I believe that's Anaya and Yvette. 
the mother and daughter relationship. Because one thing is clear to me, no matter how hard I try, I will never be able to fill mom's shoes. It's not right. Hey, let me help you. Sorry, come, come in, let me help you. Be sure not to miss the next episode of Belief in Fatherhood, The Good Father Season, episode four, next Wednesday. I don't keep people around cause they in your circle If they don't add to your center then that can really hurt you I spend a lot of time chasing people who fly high But let's be honest the inner circle's the bullseye I've been talking to sheep who got the wolves eye. Don't judge a book by its cover, but judge a man by his lover. My attitude is from mother. My hand-me-downs are from brothers. I've been cold. My wife is never sharing the cover.